and welcome! My name is Eva and happy Halloween! The day you're going to watch this, it will be Halloween. That's why today's makeup won't be actually for Halloween, because I understand that if you're going to celebrate Halloween, then probably not many of you will watch this video and even in so, you're not going to recreate this look. Or would you? We'll see, today's makeup will be for Dia de Muertos and I'm going to actually recreate my makeup look that I've done a few years ago and although this makeup I've done with just white foundation, black eyeliner and these two lipsticks I am not sure if I want to use them, especially that these are KVD lipsticks and the formula has changed, colors have different names and I believe that the newest blue lipstick isn't this one. <laughs> so I think it's obvious that I am maybe not very convinced to just use this lipstick, to actually waste these lipsticks for some uh, bigger makeup look than only for the lips. So I'm going to play with paints, but just letting you know that today's makeup you can do with foundation with, for example, a foundation mixer, a white one to make a more whiter foundation, or just white foundation, you can find such foundations of the market, or white concealer, white powder or translucent one, um, black eyeliner, and just these kind of colors, so burgund and blue gray shade. You can find these shades, as you can tell, in lipsticks or in eyeliners, so you don't need to to use paints, but I have paints, so I will use paints. I blacked my brows a little bit just with school glue and some powder. I don't need to block them entirely because I will paint them black anyway. I'll start with white paint and I'm going to paint my face white, almost whole face. I'm going to leave my eye area because this area will be black anyway. I won't paint like very, very precisely around my hairline, it doesn't really matter, it can look like just a mask, it will be also okay. I'm taking now the Nutcracker powder, ZC, this powder is matting one, but it has one nice feature, if you're going to use it too much, it's actually white, so I'm going to use it to set this paint and see if I need to correct it, like for example here. Honestly, I don't like to work with white paint this way. It looks good on camera, but uh, <laughs> it's not really pretty look on <laughs> in reality, to be honest. This is the best I can get, so I leave it like this. <laughs> now I'm going to take black paint and uh, paint pretty big eye socket, uh, this uh, hole on my nose and maybe a little bit lines here that I will blend a little bit down, like just more hollow cheek. And I'm taking black Cupid Zaro Nabla, of course, to fill my waterline. Maybe you also fill my eyelid because on my eyelid paints don't like to be <laughs> like they crease very, very quickly. So I add a little bit of Scupizaro and of course I'm going to add also black uh, black eyeshadow to set this area. Let's move on, maybe nose. Of course don't need to be super precise, not even symmetrical. Now let's do hollow cheeks. Hmm. This will be not the easiest thing, especially that here. Being symmetrical won't be a bad thing, you know? <laughs> Only something like this. And the same on my other cheek. Okay, I leave it like this and now with the paint I still have on my brush, I blend it. Now I'm taking a black eyeshadow, the same brush and I'm going to Feel this area a little bit better and of course blend it down. Like I said, it doesn't need to be super precise. I would even say that this is very desired effect. 
a little bit messy, a little bit disappearing. Now I think I am ready to add these accents of color. Maybe I'll use this lipstick, why not? It's not as bad idea after all. So I'll use it as lipstick and then I'm going to just create some ornaments, let's say, just, you know, to make this mask more prettier. So uh, something like flowery-ish ornaments, some ribbons shade and so on. Just use your imagination. There's no pattern here and just have fun. I think that I've created similar color with paint. So maybe I just use paint. You know, still I'm not convinced if I want to just use my lipstick. <laughs> Don't worry about the black, you can always fix it and cover later. But honestly, look at this shade. It's... I'm good! <laughs> I think it looks great. Actually, not even good. It looks pretty nice. Now I'll go back with black and of course correct these edges. Now I'm taking eyeliner brush and I'm just keep going. Now I'll make some dots on this edge. Still with this shade. That's what I need. Now I'm going to mix this burgundy shade with other shade. I will just try to achieve more just more something like the Echo, my favorite lipstick. <laughs> okay, it's not the same. Here's the lipstick, here's my color. But it's, let's say, close enough. So let's continue. I'll use this paint to add dots all around here. And again, a lot of just ribbons, shapes and stuff. Just be creative. It's just really hard to, to tell what I'm going to do because I am even not sure <laughs> and this is finished makeup. I understand that probably I didn't explain what I was doing in a very detailed and proper way, but unfortunately I wasn't even sure what I'm going to do. This kind of makeup is like full creativity. It depends really on what you want to do, not what you have to do. If you're going to Google just makeups for Dia de Muertos, you're going to see some patterns. And just from these patterns, you can create anything you want. Patterns like white face, black eyes, I mean eye socket, uh, hollowed cheeks, uh, lips with teeth or like this with lipstick, without lipstick, um, nose with this uh, black hole or without. There is so many ways you can express this makeup there are so many ways you can you can just do it and with so many colors that really it's up to you and the only limit you have is your imagination so again this is finished makeup i hope you like it i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed this halloween season this whole series once again have a happy halloween and of course Happy Dia de Muertos and I'm going to see you in my next videos. We're going back to just, let's say, normality. Although, can we tell that on my channel normality is the thing? We're just going back to normal makeups, let's say. So, as always, I love you very, very much. Thank you so much for watching and I see you soon. Bye!